<laughs> I'm here with uh, Lisa Henney, who's one of the main stars of Unthinkable, a crazy catastrophe film from Sweden by a collective called uh, Crazy Pictures. And um, she's been here now for a couple of days in Hapsalo. What do you think of the festival? How do you feel here in Hapsalo? Like, please us. We want to hear all the good things. Okay. Uh, not the bad things then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ba- no bad yeah, things. Yeah. Even if you had like a terrible <laughs> diarrhea or a um, problem. <laughs> oh no, that's horrible. <laughs> Where did that come from? Uh, okay. Um, I think that this, um, the village of this festival that you like, the village that you've chosen, it's amazing. All the wooden buildings. Um, and the fact that for me as a Swede that the illustrator of Astrid Lindgren comes from here and that her illustrations are actually based on the village of Hapsru, it's amazing. I can see it in like from the, in the books that I read when I was a kid. So I love being here. Um, when you think of um, Unthinkable and you need to go back and pick out like one of the hardest uh, shooting days for you um, out of the 120 shooting days that I know you had, what would it be? What's the one thing that comes to your mind and you think like, fuck, I wouldn't do that again? Well, we had, um, we had, a, long, uh, we had a long shoot of a scene uh, in a church when, when the roof of the church is gone and it's raining. The rain is like constantly coming down. And it was real water and it was so cold. And there was only one set of clothing. So we kept like being wet for an entire week completely. Wet, but like they took out the heater so we can be warm and wet, which wasn't really better than being cold and wet. That was a really hard day for me. But the scene in the end turned out brilliantly. So I'm happy that we shot it. Nice. Um, if you think of uh, Unthinkable in the context of Swedish uh, film today, what do you think is the change that it's made in the cinematic la- landscape in where you come from? Well, we got here we got a bunch of guys, uh, the film collective Crazy Pictures, who was turned down when it came to finance because everyone said that this was a project that couldn't be done but they did it anyways and they managed to secure finance on the way so they showed that you don't have to follow follow the establishment rules of filmmaking in order to make your vision um, clear and to make it happen so I think the change that it has made is that more and more people are going to dare to kind of not go with the establishment rules and do their own thing yeah and um, do you like genre films yourself? Or what's your favorite genre if you have to like pinpoint down what kind of movies you like? Well, as an actor, I, I'd say that the, the horror genre has got an amazing audience because it's so faithful to, to the genre. Like if I do drama or comedy um, as such, uh, it wouldn't be the same thing. Because when you do horror, you feel that you have so many people and they're with you all the way and they're kind of commenting and they want to be know what's going on. And it's such a friendly feel, such a lovely atmosphere. So for me, horror, the horror genre is the, the friendliest one to work in. It, it really is. I'm not just saying that. I think it is because it's got a very, very faithful audience. Yeah, yeah. But if you had to like point out your favorite films, like the two, three that you think really I could always go back and look at what they would be. That I've been in or that I've seen? No, that you've seen. The must-sees. Okay, I have, um, I, have, I have so many favorite films, but I have one that comes to mind right now, and it's a... Um, it's a Dutch movie called the, the Broken Circle Breakdown, and it is a it's a it's a rockabilly saga, and for me that just it has it all. You get the music, you get the the love story, you get the drama, and all tied up nicely in a in a feature film. Yeah, it, and it's heartbreaking that movie. I cried is, like crazy oh, when I saw it. Oh my god! I, I, I there was no st- <laughs> I cried. To say I, I can start crying about thinking about. It. But yeah. it, it's a lo- it's a lovely love story. For me, that's like when, when, when the, for me, it doesn't have to be a realism. For for you to, for it to be believable, yeah. I love the sagas. They're almost and, over top. Yes, way. exactly, and that horror certainly got that, yeah. you know, and and for me that is, that's film. That's like to get like hmm, you you get swept away in something that's larger than life. It's so delicious. I love that I have casually just like rested my hand. I love that too. <laughs> We're like best friends now in all of this corporate. <laughs> so would you say that you recommend people to come back here? Of course, everyone should come to this. 
Everybody should come to this festival. <laughs> I don't have to say it. I love that. If, if I say it, it loses the cre- credibility. I'm no, gonna just shut up. You do the job. <laughs> it is. I've had such a wonderful time here. We're signing off into the night. Um, parties and movies are awaiting. <laughs>